OK. Um, this is the second part of uh, week number uh, six, module two, uh, which is related to solar thermal. And today I will talk about a new or let me say advanced technology. It's the future of solar energy. As you remember, we discussed last time uh, solar photovoltaic. And after uh, after solar photovoltaic, we went through the solar thermal. And this is what we call it solar photovoltaic thermal system. It's a new technology. And hot technology, which we call it PVT or PV slash T to say that this is photovoltaic and thermal together. Now I, I will explain to you um, the the idea and uh, the story behind this and the advanced technology and where the scientists are uh, searching today. Um, but before be before this before this I, I would like to say something here. You remember when I talk about the cell? This is my cell. I to say that uh, it's affected by the environmental parameters. One of them is the temperature. What happens is when temperature increase, the CL current will increase in significantly, very small amount to be increased, something we can ignore. But the voltage reduced significantly. It means voltage, let me write here, T increase lead to voltage decrease significantly and then lead to power decrease and lead to efficiency decrease and we lose. So temperature is not good, okay, for photovoltaic. Yes, current will increase, but as I mentioned, bit, while voltage is reduced sharp, you can see here in this graph, this is IV characteristics. You see here, this is I, V characteristics. The blue line here represent the characteristics, the, the original characteristics, let me say, at standard test condition. When temperature is beyond 25, we see that the voltage get reduced. And when voltage reduced, power reduced, efficient, everything reduced, excluding cost, cost will increase. So from there, in 1972, around, around 1972, uh, people start thinking, okay, why don't we cool the cell? If we cool it, then we improve the voltage, power efficiency, and this will get more benefit. So the, the idea started with cooling of the cell, cooling of PV. And they, through the time, researcher, let me say, um, Universities start investigating how they can cool, and they we can classify cooling into passive and active. Passive and active cooling, passive which which is happen naturally, but we call it natural convection. Uh, as example, we can use fins. These are metals. I will show you in the next few slides these methods. Uh, we put them on the back like heat sink to observe heat and radiate it, or they use what we call it phase change material (PCM). Phase change material is a is a material that um, absorb uh, intensive amount of energy and release it, it can release it. As example, paraffin wax and other type of PCM. Or natural cooling by fluid, as example, water. While force convection, here we, we use a pump and we rotate fluid, it could be any type of fluid. It could be air, it could be water, it could be both together, it could be nanofluid, as I, uh, nanofluid, by the way, it's coming from nanoparticles. We use small, uh, nanoparticles, tiny small particles in nano. It's been 10 to power minus nine, very small, more than, smaller than micro. We put these impurities, or let me say nanoparticles, inside the water to enhance its thermal conductivity. When they started this in, uh, in, in 1970, behind, after 1972, they started with air. And after it means they cool it from the back. I mean, if you, if you ex as example, imagine this is the cell. They try to make a fan behind the cell and it's blowing air. So the air will cool the cell. When the cell gets cooled, the voltage increase, power increase, efficiency increase, everything will be fine. Then they say, why don't we use water by making pipe behind here? This is the, the cell. Let's assume that this is the back of the panel. We put here pipes, one, two, three, four, five, like a network in this way. 
similar to the, I, I mentioned for them in the uh, solar water collector. Then water will, these pipes will capture the heat from the back of the panel. Water will follow through it in this way. It get the heat, absorb it, and then release it by taking it to uh, a storage tank. After that, they say, why don't we mix them, air and water at the same time? Then they move to another techniques. They use nanoparticles to improve the enhance the thermal conductivity of water and so on. Now, fins as example, you, you see here fins. This is fins. It's a metal, OK, like this way. You see here, like a radiator. This is the glass, the, the layer here, or coating layer. This is the cell. This is the back of the panel from wrapper or EVA. And then um, we put here at the back of the panel like a radiator. Uh, similar to radiator, we use it in electrical circuits or radiator uh, for them. Uh, the, our vehicles, cars, and so to observe heat and radiate it by nature, naturally. Or they can't put PCM, as I mentioned, PCM, phase change material, behind the panel in the back here, as you can see here in the back, and they definitely they need to cover it, cover it by insulator. Now, the idea started from there, and then it's improved to what we call it today, PVT, photovoltaic thermal. What they say, okay, just a minute. We have thermal collector here, okay? Forget about these cells, forget about these cells. We have solar water heater, as example. You remember we discussed solar water heater. Why don't we put the solar panel on the top and the pipes to be linked, attached behind the panel, okay? So in this way, we produce from the same system electricity and thermal energy both you see two in one okay by the way you you need to you to to keep you no know, you need to know that most of new technology looking to hybrid system uh, we 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 scientists investors looking to have what we call it two in one three in one seven in one eight in one whatever you increase the the let me say the usage of your system or your application or your device or your invention, the more it will be attractive uh, for people. So imagine this is the cell, the solar panel. At the back, definitely we are they going to put, uh, 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 let me say, um, insulator to, co to, to contaminate the energy inside. And then here the pipes, as you can see behind, and they may add to the pipes PCM together. And this way they capture more energy. Now, if we look to people today, today, people, they may, many countries, they have solar panel. These are the solar panel, as you can see here. It capture light and produce electricity. They use electricity inside the house. And at the same time, they put solar water heater, solar collectors, thermal collector, to produce heat to be used inside them. Um, the house. But what happened in PVT, we can't save the area. Rather than, as example, if I have this area, rather than one, I use it for PV, one, I use it for, uh, uh, let me, I'm not playing karate here, okay, one, I use it for solar thermal, I can put the whole area with two in one. At the same time, they are PV. At the same time, they are thermal, and what we call it PVT. I've been working in this, uh, let me say, uh, in this area for the last seven, eight years. Okay, I have a research group. We work on this. I will publish interesting, let me say, paper in the field. Here I'm showing here some of my published, recent published articles in the field. One, two, three. I will, I will try to send you some of them to have a look where this science is going on. Now, when we come to the efficiency, now we have a new system, hybrid system, PVT system, photovoltaic thermal system. The overall system efficiency, which we call it overall or combined, will be the efficiency of both the thermal part and the electrical part. And we know the thermal part, we can calculate the efficiency by calculating the heat. We have a formula before we use it over the insulation, solar insulation by the area of the collector, or we can use this formula. This is another formula. We can use it where A is the collector uh, area and FR is heat removal factor. It's available in the data sheet. 
S is the absorbed solar radiation, and U is heat transfer coefficients. Also, we can take it from the data sheet, and temperatures here are to be taken. Okay, this, this equation, by the way, they call it Hotel Willer equation. It's a well known equation in the thermal, uh, solar thermal uh, energy. While efficiency, you remember we talk about efficiency for photovoltaic. Also, we mentioned that it's output, which is load over input. We have formula there. But also there is another formula we can use it also, which is efficiency is relative efficiency here. OK, but apply by co coefficient here is temperature coefficient by the difference of temperature of the PV and the relative. We can reference, we can use both the, this one or the previous one. Now this science, since in 80 decades, 90 decades of previous century, uh, uh, after that uh, 90 decades, then uh, the first 10 years from this decade and let me say, sorry, from this century and the from two, two, 2010 to two, today, 2021, there are many improvements happen to PVT. And if I classify them, I mean, try to summarize, otherwise it's long classification because every day a new improvement coming and a new, let me say, invention coming. If I classify them, I can say they are air, base PVT, water base, then they combine them in water air base. You see, can see here in different, in each one of them, there is a classification also in each one of them. Concentrated, they use concentration lens and other, uh, let me say, trough systems and so. And here is the advance in the last 15 years. Here is the advance. By the way, um, before I go to the advance here, now, uh, why I say this PVT will be the future of PV? Because it, first of all, it save area. Rather than we, if I have one kilometer, half of it for PV, half of it for PV uh, for thermal, we can make it one kilometer for PV. And at the same time, it is one kilometer, so we save area. Area is important. We may don't have this problem of area here in Oman because of um, uh, we have area free spaces to, to install these systems. But in many other countries, they don't have. Example is Barazi. Barazi, they don't have space. They even they use space on their buildings. They use space in free space uh, on the on land. They go even to the to the ocean, OK, to the sea to, to build their renewable energy system, wind and other type of. System. So some countries, they don't have area. Very is important. And the second issue is it's a dual, or let me say it's hybrid system providing two types of energy, not one. This is a credit. Plus, loss, let me say the cost will go down. Why cost will go down? Because the material is going down. Rather than I design two different systems, it's one system, put them together. So the material use will go down. The price will go down, and so on. So there are many advantages. So we, what, what I expect, as a researcher working in the field, that the future will be this for solar energy, PVT. PVT will take over. Now, some countries, okay, already they start using this PVT in their uh, application. They don't go for PV separately from solar thermal. No, they, they go for PVT. But with time, you will, you will see that this technology will come to our area or region. Now, for advanced, for advanced, we have many invention in this field. As example, thermoelectric PVT, uh, heat pipe based PVT, refrigeration, PCM based, nano fluid based, and this is our invention, which is nano PCM, nano fluid PVT. Okay, we we try to take both nano PCM and nano fluid. We put them together in what we call it nano fluid, nano PCM. Uh, we invented this system in 2000. Seven, and it gave the highest ever efficiency for PVT um, experimentally. Okay, it was at that time we, we broke the record. We register our record, eighty-five point around seven percent efficiency. It's the highest uh, for PVT ever reached. Later on, definitely uh, more improvement occurred to have uh, to, to broke our number, our efficiency, and still people are working on this. Now, um, many parameters will affect the amount of cooling 
the PV because we are not only, by the way, cooling. We are cooling PV and we are collecting heat to be used in thermal application. So many parameters are playing. One of them is uh, flow rate, mass flow rate. I mean, in kilogram per second. Tell me about the uh, how fast is the water flow or fluid flow inside these pipes? Because when we increase it, as example here, you see here temperature efficiency. When we increase it, the mass flow rate, temperature efficiency will go up to improve the cooling. Regardless if it is air, as example, this one is air and this one is nanofluid. Both of them, the principle is the same. Okay, increase mass flow rate, efficiency will go up. And if we look to temperature, okay, we can see that PV temperature example here, see this is PV temperature. When we cool it, it go down. But this is only by air. Imagine we cool it by uh, water, by nanofluid, by um, water and air, by nanofluid uh, air. You can see the efficiency will go up because we are we getting better cooling. And by the way, this efficiency is for thermal and electrical. You see ele thermal? Thermal will go up. It's clear. The improvement in thermal efficiency is, is significant. But the improvement in electrical is small, but still important. How? I will talk about this at the end of this session when I reach the cost analysis. Now imagine this is the normal situation today. We have solar thermal collector, we have PV. Part of our roof covered with PV, and the second part will cover with uh, thermal. So this thermal generate only thermal energy. This th electrical PV generate only electrical. But when we put PVT together, we generate for the whole area electricity, and for the whole area, we generate thermal energy. And the efficiency get improved. As, a, as example, if we assume that the efficiency for thermal is 50% and the efficiency for electrical 7, the overall system is 57, which is high, which is high, relatively high and useful. Yes, you may say, okay, not that much progress in the yield for thermal with respect to for both systems, but for electrical, there is double, around double yield. The energy captured is double around improved and become better. This is how it look like from the top, it's PV from the top, it's PV. But look behind, this is the, the behind, okay, side of you. You see either I have these pipes in, in different shape, okay, in different shape. You see here, direct flow, parallel flow, split flow, each one have a name. And all the time we see new designs coming on new designs coming on they are uh, unlimited number of because everybody try to think how can i improve the uh, cooling of the pv and collecting more in thermal energy they try to make let me say a, a, a new proposed uh, uh, co collector a new proposed pipes um, let me say methodology or method even even with our uh, group here in sohar university um, uh, we propose a new, recently we have an uh, article published in Elsevier in Thermal Science and Engineering Progress. I will try to send you the, the, the paper also on the Microsoft team. You can see that we propose a hybrid collector for our PVT. We combine both and we check the, the improvement, if there is improvement or not, and we find that there is improvement. Now, using nanofluid, okay, it's one of the hot topics of and PVT for the last 20 years. Last 20 years, people keep investigating nanofluid, looking for different type of nanoparticles, looking for different type of system configuration, combine both of them, and try to, to run many experimental work. As you can see here, nanoparticles, is, if you can see here, very small particles, talking about 10 to power minus 10, small particles. We have different type of nanoparticles. It could be IS, SiO2, SIC, TiO, and there is a list. Okay. When we put these particles inside water and shake it, okay, we put it and then shake it by uh, ultrasonic shaker. And definitely we need to check the density, viscosity, uh, thermal conductivity. All these need to be checked to check the physical properties. 
of the new fluid, which is called nano fluid. Then we use it. We use it to uh, we, we rotate it in the pipes to see uh, how much improvement we got. Okay. See, this is when we talk about the grid system. Today, as example in Oman, uh, people start putting uh, solar panels on their roof and sell electricity to the company, to the electricity company. Even if it is not that much, let me say, uh, uh, benefit that much, I mean, price still need some improvement from my side of view, okay? But still people are using this. Because of temperature, rather than they sell, let me say, uh, as example, 10 real for, let me say, 20, 30 reals uh, per month. If they call it, they can sell, let me say, the same amount multiplied by 1.5, as example, 1.4. Okay, the price will go up, more money they will get if they call it. So grid connected system, as you can see here, this is the system, PVT. You can see from the PV, we have electricity. Let's go to, to the accessories, talking about meters, inverter. If we have inverters, we grid send it to the grid here, and meter will account how much we sell to the electricity company. And if it is also some of this electricity on day used by our application, yeah, we can make it work. We can make, as example, our TV, our light, or other applications use this electricity. And at the same time, thermal energy came we can store it in a tank and we use it for shower, for washing, dishes washing, or clothes washing, and so other applications. Uh, we published some articles in some, uh, uh, let me say, um, publishers and some journals, example, Journal of Energy in Elsevier, Journal of Solar Energy in Elsevier, Journal of um, Sustainable in Engineering Energy in, in Francis Ann Taylor, and I will try to send you some of these systems. This is one of the systems designed by my PhD student graduate a few years back, uh, where we have here <clears throat> 10 panels together, grid connected. This is the back of the panel. As you can see here, these pipes, okay? The, the water, the nanofluid will follow in these pipes. And the electricity will come to here, data acquisition on meters, and the students monitor uh, the data collected, and then he analyzes it to see what improvement we have using the proposed method, you're using the proposed uh, co configuration and using the proposed nano fluid. So we can cool, we can cool by water. As you can see here, it's coming from here, sorry, from the more blue one. It's rotated here in this way. I try to find a video for you to show you how it look like. And when it's reached at the end here, it gets hotted, okay? Uh, while this is for peat water. For nanofluid, we, we come here with more energy captured, more cooling for the PV and more heat we capture and use it, okay? Definitely, when we increase, uh, as I mentioned, mass flow rate, we get more cooling on more heat to be captured. Now, <clears throat> this is graph from my students, let me say, uh, experiments, just to remind you, you remember uh, IV characteristics, I, V, the curves look like this, okay? And P, V characteristics, the, the curve look like this, okay? We can sketch this, this, this curve or IV or PV characteristics for different uh, condition, different temperature, different, let me say, uh, solar insulation and so. But what I want to focus on is how much the highest I got power from the PV using this or that technique. Have a look. They, he found that when he used water for cooling, he got 80.6 watt, okay, in lab for from the PVT. But when he cooled it using, using let me say, uh, PVT with nanofluid and use SiO2 nanoparticles, then he improved it. It become 8.6. Imagine this one; it's get improved. Then he use another nanoparticle. He mix it with water and put it in the system and rotate it. Then he found that the system with the same specification improved to 93.4 watt. Then he use SIC. He he found that improved more 115. Imagine this is 115. This is 80. 
there is good improvement. This is for one panel. If we go for, um, let me say, thousands or uh, millions of panels in a large plants, definitely the, the amount of yield and power and, and energy uh, generated will be high. And this means that the uh, let me revenue will be uh, will be improved significantly. See this here? See the 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 normal grid connected system, okay? PV system is this one. Okay. This is for uh, for one day, okay? So it seemed to be this one. When they use nanofluid for the same system, they get improvement. You see these red bars? Red bus is the improvement. It's significant. It's, how it's significant? I will show you the cost in the next few slides. I will show you the cost, how much we bought. Okay. And this this red part, we are going to receive, uh, uh, let me say, money for this, for selling this red part. It's extra money coming from the same system. And definitely the temperature will go down. Okay. You can see here temperature going down. This is temperature with respect to time. Temperature going down and it get cooled. And this is uh, this mean this mean lead to more energy captured. These are some of our articles published in energy conversion and management in LCV related to this topic. Where here is my student design, as you can see here, and practically he designed in this way. Then he fill it, he fill the panel, the back panel here. He fill it, these are the pipes, as you can see here. He fill it here with PCM, nano PCM. Because nano PCM is, as example, Parfan works, is get capture the heat. More heat will capture, will be captured. And release this heat into the pipes. And since there is nano fluid following in the pipes, it will go out. This is the nano fluid, okay? How it look like, it's yellow. And this is a gray, as you can see, nano uh, PCM. PCM is parfum wax. And definitely, he checked different samples. And from these samples, he selects the best uh, conductivity, thermal conductivity performance. And then he need to make sure, he need to make sure that the, uh, um, that, that the, uh, Abdullah, okay, that the, Nano PCM and nano fluid are mixed homogeneously, okay, and uh, its specification physical properties uh, has been tested. Now this is he, he if we look to this graph here for the temperature for one one day, okay, okay, this is for the system in 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 outside in environmental it's not inside outdoor not indoor, okay, so based on the weather data. We can see here the temperature is high in the situation of PV. We cool it by water, by water and PCM, by water and nanofluid. We see that while we improve the way of cooling, we, we reduce the temperature more, which is good. And when we did a calculation for thermal efficiency, we find that the situation get improved. Here is the PV cell with water, cooled by water. Here, it's cooled by water and PCM only. Here, it's improved more. It means more energy, thermal energy has been captured, more cooling on the PV side when we use nano PCM and nano fluid. Okay? This is SIC in nano fluid, and this is SIC with a parfum, parfum wax, uh, where uh, how it look like. This is XRD test. Now, a comparison of the experiment has been made for the three cases here for water based, nano fluid based, and nano fluid nano PCM. We can see that the BVT efficiency, overall efficiency, improved from 60 something to 74 something to 85 something. It's interesting to progress. Imagine this with this, compare with this with that, this one, with this one. So more uh, enhancement occurred in the PV system. Now, when we come to the cost, uh, by the way, this is the efficiency, PVT overall efficiency, and this is the electrical efficiency for different technology investigated by different researchers. But our system, the red one here, it seemed to be gave the highest uh, of, uh, overall 
uh, overall system efficiency at that time. When we come to the cost, okay, uh, we measure the cost uh, if it is good and uh, promising or not by looking to the cost, uh, let me say, parameters. One of them is the cost of energy. Another one is the payback period. Payback period, we will talk about these parameters at the end of the semester when we approaching the energy conservation uh, part. Uh, payback period, PBB, P, 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 payback period. It's, as example, I uh, install system. It cost me 1,000 real, Omani real. How long it take from me to retain my investment? If it take from me 10 years, definitely five years is better. I retain my investment because after that, what's coming is revenue, is, is, is my revenue. Okay. Now, here is a comparison of the system. You can see here the normal PV. Normal PV. Okay, has been tested, it's found to be around uh, 15 years, something. When it gets cold here, okay, using water, okay, it's reduced around 12 years. So, so two years reduction in payback period. It means these two years is the revenue. I will get money, extra money. Okay. When we use nano PCM nano fluid, it's reduced here, as you can see, into eight half of 16. So in eight years, we return back our investment. And after that, the whole period of the system work will be revenue money. You, you got it as a benefits. We publish from this work many articles. Actually, I try to send you the, the most significant one of them, which um, uh, you, can, you can go through them to enhance your information of PVT. And this is the end of um, of this session. Do you have any question?